What's up, Flow State? I messed up. Today's video was supposed to be a 30 minute mobility class and my camera ran out of space 10 minutes shy of our 30 minutes. So I'm gonna upload it today anyway. It's gonna be 10 minutes short, but then tomorrow I'm gonna re-record a new one and upload that as well. The rest of today's video is gonna have some miscellaneous training footage from the past couple days. And uh, also a special thank you to Shiri for the delicious treats that I picked up from her today. And uh, see you tomorrow. Training session number one. Cutting this session short. My abs are already feeling it a lot and I got more training I want to do later. I want to hit those rotations again in the tramp at home. Uh, see you there. Alright, training session number two. The plan is back tucks, maybe some back pikes, and then uh, throw in some twists. So let's see what happens. What's up everybody? Welcome to the first mobility, flowability session. Uh, it's not gonna be just stretching, it's not gonna be uh, exercises or working out, it's gonna be a little bit of core activation, a little bit of yoga, so think position, uh, positions held for time. Uh, you know, some things will be longer, a minute per hold, two minute hold, 30 seconds on the shorter end, maybe even 10 seconds, repetitions of things. Um, we're gonna run for about 25, 30 minutes right now. I have the timer in the gym so I can follow along with that. You can follow along with me. Kick off your shoes and let's get this going. We're gonna start off with the good stuff. You know that I love the glutes. And what I want you to think about as we get this moving is posterior tilt, tuck your pelvis. Lift it up, we're gonna hold it at the top for a few seconds. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Now when I come back down, I wanna think about my spine from the top down. One vertebrae at a time. I'm gonna lower, keep tucking the pelvis, flattening the back. Very slowly, and then I'll get to the bottom and let it go and relax. And now I'm just gonna go through a series of about 10 reps, tucking my pelvis, lifting my hips up. About five more. Now I'm going to 
pull my knees back to my chest. And now what I want to do is bring my knees over my hips, flex my ankles, and now I'm going to do a little hip activation. So what I'm going to do is push into my one leg, pull against the other leg. Now with my hips and legs, I'm going to uh, oppose those forces. So I'm going to get real tight, hold my breath for about five seconds. And then I'll relax and switch. And now just a few more reps. Again, pushing and pulling. Keep those ankles flexed. I'm gonna drop them back to the floor. I'm gonna go through 10 more posterior tilts. Four more. All right, now we're gonna flip it over. Quadruped position, which means all four. Now just some, I believe in yoga, they're called cat camels, or cat cows. I honestly don't remember the names to a lot of these positions, so. I'll have to refresh myself with them and then get them to you. So at this point, we're going to be focusing on now warming up the spine a bit. So I'm going through flexion, I'm going through extension, now I'm going to hold this at the top, I keep lifting my chin, sticking my butt out. Now on the way back, you know, it's not just about rounding the back. I'm going to be pulling my chin in, rounding the upper back, tucking the pelvis, pulling my shoulder blades apart. Especially right here. I'm pushing into the ground, pulling my chin in. Now let's end up back flat again. Walk those hands out. Let the toes drop back, let the hips drop down. And now I'm looking up to the ceiling. I feel this in my abs a lot. You might feel it in the, your hips, in the front of the hips, maybe something in the lower back. And now I'm gonna rock a little bit side to side. And now I'm gonna turn all the way to my right. Again, still pushing myself up, back to the center. Now all the way to my left. I'm definitely tighter in this right hip. A little glute activation, squeeze your butt. Come on back to the middle. And back to the classic child's pose, right? Drop the hips back, extend the arms. Let's go through five breaths. Big inhale through the nose. Expand the rib cage. Exhale through the mouth. One more. the top. Now I'm going to go into a little bird dog position. What I want you to think about is again, I'm just going to slide out with these hands. I want to keep myself as neutral as I can here at the lower back. When I come out, I'm going to extend that leg in the back, lock my knee, reach out with the arm. But now from here, as I'm still pushing through this side, I want to think about reaching here and reaching back with that leg as if someone was pulling me from that side and someone was pulling my leg back from that side. Here we go, 10 seconds. Remember, breathing into the nose. Again, back to the bottom. See how my hands got down? It wasn't a big change of positions for my spine. Now I'm switching sides. <clears throat> Again, straight out, arms straight. Now I'm reaching, reaching back with the back leg, right? Core activation, squeezing my abs, pulling the belly button in, pushing down through this side. 10 seconds. Big breaths. All right. 
back down. All right, let's flip it back over. All right, so now I'm gonna cross one leg over the top. Right now it's my left leg over my right, hands are bent out the side. I'm gonna take a nice inhale, squeeze my abs. Bring it to the side, exhale. I'm gonna hold this just for a few seconds. Shouldn't be any pain with this. If you have pain, come back to the center. I'm gonna inhale again, squeeze my abs. Come up. Exhale once I get to the top, switch sides. Exhale as I get to the bottom. Inhale again, tighten my abs. Bring it back to the top. All right, back flipped over. And again, I'm just giving you what I would be doing for 30 minutes by myself if I had uh, no equipment. All right, this one's gonna be held for a little bit of a longer time. This is gonna be for a minute. So uh, this is gonna be our, our first original position. Uh, we're gonna go into some harder positions from here. Uh, at any position that you cannot get into from here, come right back to this again. So our first option, we're gonna to try to pull up the foot here and grab with the hand. I'm squeezing my butt, tucking the pelvis still, activity through the midline. The next movement from here can be down onto this elbow. We're about 30 seconds in or so. We're gonna go another 30 from here. So again, if you can't be in this position, go back to the first one where you're here. And if you ever wanna to try to get on your elbows too, you know, you can do that. This side will be the easiest to get down. This will be the hardest side to get down. And when you're in this position, or this one, or this one, the primary thing that we're working on is this spot right here. As your torso gets lower into this hip flexion on this side, you may start to feel it in the hamstrings and the inner thighs. There's nothing wrong with that. That's just where you're tight for this particular position. So with that, let's switch it over into the other side. That's about our time. Again, starting up here at the top, hands down in this split position. And we again, go for the foot. Again, tuck the pelvis, squeeze your butt, squeeze the abs. Again, we're not trying to hold a really long, hard plank or anything. We just want to keep some activity in the core and we're not just trying to hang by our joints. Remember, this can also be down on the elbow. Big inhale still. Keep breathing. All right, let's bring it back to the top again. Let's switch sides, same positioning. Uh, you guys can start here with the hands. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is the other hand reach. So same side as the leg is behind you. We wanna try to grab for that foot. Maybe you have to stand tall with this one. And again, two, you guys playing in the home game in front of your couch. You wanna prop your foot up on something to get into any of these positions to get you started there. We can do that too. So again, we're starting here. And now we wanna go hand to floor if we can. And then we're gonna be thinking about today turning you know, mainly from the upper body, and then facing, from me, I'm facing this side wall. Keep pulling the foot up if you can, squeeze your butt. Remember, if you can't be in this position, you're here, or against a wall, something like this. Again, the foot doesn't have to be all the way back at the couch or at the wall, it can be further forward. We wanna get you more upright, if that's the case. So, <clears throat> Let's go now to the inner thighs. Foot out at the side. We're gonna be moving a little bit more with this one. Forward and back. You know, when I come forward, I tuck my pelvis a little bit as I come in, and then I kind of let it relax as I go to the back. As my hips open up and it feels appropriate, as you get to the back, you can start to rock down onto your elbows. Pop back up here, rock back to the elbows pop back up here. I'm gonna stay on this side for about another 30 seconds. Back on your elbows. 
You can also check in with some upper body rotation here in this uh, position. All right, let's bring it up and switch. Foot goes out to the side. Now we're keeping this foot flat and straight. And then we're rocking. So this is our first dry run at doing this flowability video. What I'd like to do, I think, is probably do some live streams, some live classes. I don't know exactly how those would look yet. Down to those elbows again. Maybe it's a Sunday coffee and mobility live. Maybe it's a Friday night. Cocktails, cocktails and mobility. All right, back to the top again. All right, now we're gonna settle into a little uh, saddle stretch. I knew the name of one. That means I'm gonna be sitting on my feet. If you can't get into this position, because again, it just causes you knee pain. You have no flexibility even get in this position uh, because of that pain. Uh, again, a lot of stretching through the tops of the feet or the, or the uh, shins. Uh, that's where we're gonna grab a series of pillows, several pillows. Uh, medicine ball, something like that. So you'll be seated on there. Your weight is definitely on the ball. And then that's the position that you are starting. Everybody else who's starting here on the floor, let's go about hip width with the, with the uh, knees and feet for now. And then just try to relax back onto your calves. Now I know for me when I'm in this position, a lot of times what tends to happen is I settle into it at first, my pelvis is tilted forward like this. So I have to really Remind myself to tilt back a little bit. And again, not to you know, get to that dog poop position, but just to get to neutral. Put my hands here. Now, the thing I like to do here is I pull my chin in, pull my shoulder blades down and apart just slightly, and I get a little bit of stretch through my traps in the back of my neck. A couple big inhales through the ribcage. To the scorpion. I'm gonna go this way just so you guys can hopefully make sure I stay in the frame. My arms come out to the side. I'm gonna lead with my big toe. Start to carry the leg over the top, leading with the big toe towards the floor. I'm looking at the opposite wall now. And now here, big inhales where I feel it's tight. So if I can control my breath, I feel a lot of big stretching right here. I'm gonna to try to inhale into my lower back, into my core, and then exhale and relax. I'm gonna stay here for about four more breaths. I like to keep reaching out with this arm here. I get my leg back a little bit more, relax my head, one more inhale. Slowly, I'm gonna contract my abs, Bring myself back to the center. Shake it out, realign, reposition, reset. And now the other side. Again, leading with the big toe, a little hip internal rotation. Breathing in through the nose. Reaching out there. I'm gonna hold this for five breaths like the other side. One more. Slowly contracting the core, getting tight again. Back to the middle. I'm gonna pull my hands in. Back to that ab stretch of looking up at the ceiling. And now I'm bringing it back up. And then we're gonna go right back into that child's pose like earlier. Five breaths. You see, I keep adjusting. 
Again, not to make it the biggest stretch ever, but again, just to see what I feel and where I feel it as I go through these movements. Again, I'm just showing you what I would be doing if I was sitting here doing this by myself. Next up, similar to the Scorpion, this is more uh, upper body related as it is for the lower back and the hips. I mean, you may still feel stretch or activation things happening around the hips and lumbar, but this is mainly for the upper body. So what's gonna happen is I'm looking to stretch chest, uh, maybe anterior deltoid bicep, but pretty much through here. What's gonna happen is this arm's gonna come out straight like this. I'm stretching this side. And then similar to the scorpion, I'm gonna to start to rock my hips and leg over. I'm supporting my body weight with this arm pushing down. And again, go very slowly with this. Just see what, where the tension is as you start to rock over. I am much more limited here on my left side than on my right side, which you'll see in a second. So I can only go so far before I really feel like I'm putting a little bit more pressure than I would prefer in my shoulder. And mainly because I'm locked up somewhere else, mostly in my lats, but for this position, we're working on the chest. I'm gonna rock back a couple more times. And I'm gonna hold this one, five breaths. Relaxing my head down. Now at this point, I don't need my support arm here. So I take that arm behind my back and that just increases the difficulty for this arm here. And again, this is the bad side. So you'll see I'll go even a little bit further when I do the better side next. One more inhale. Back to the middle. Resetting, other side. So this is the good side. Push it off here, bending this knee, putting that foot over. And you can see I'm already almost all the way over on my other side. So again, for me, this arm can come here, but again, for you, if it has to be here to hold yourself up because you're more in this position, that's okay. Now that I'm here in five breaths, two more. Back to the middle, nice and slow. Now one more version of this, right? It's gonna look the same, but you're gonna be with a bent elbow. We're gonna be a little bit above 90 degrees. Make sure your elbow is... Thank you for making it this far. Sorry again about the uh, 10 minutes short of the mobility video. We will rectify that tomorrow with a brand new video. See you then. If you like this, subscribe, do it. Like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Thank you. Hey.